Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of upgrading your Ultrasham Combi Therm Pro CTP Combi Oven with the new software update for the brand new cleaning tablets. These tablets are more powerful, they're a concentrated cleaning product that will require less tablets and give you a better clean product within the oven. To accommodate for the different style of tablet, uh, the software update is going to update the washing program as well as the amounts required per cycle as you will have less tablets in uh, each cycle. The new tablets, the model number is CE46991 and as comparison the old cleaning tablets for Combi Therm Pro were CE36354. Step one here, you see I've got the combi on and I'm at the uh, main screen here with the uh, manual and also the recipe cooking uh, screens available. So here now to get started, I'm going to flip the protective cap open and I'm just going to stick the USB into the USB system. I'm going to wait for a count of five. One, two, there we go. Went even faster than that. This automatically takes me when it reads the USB into the software program uh, screen and presents those options. If for some reason you do not get to the screen automatically, I can press the toolbox button and then the red download button takes me into this same setup. In here, here are three buttons relating to the recipes. So I'm either copying the recipes from the USB to the oven, or I'm taking them from the oven to the USB, or I'm adding everything that's on the USB to the oven. We're going to skip those. HACCP reporting gives me a step-by-step -step account as to what the oven's doing and when it's doing it. Here, the fifth button from the top uh, it shows the oven with a yellow uh, arrow circle around it as a refresh. I'm just going to press that button. The oven automatically goes into uh, extracting the file from the USB. The note here at the very beginning says this may take several minutes. So it's important at this point to let the oven run through the program itself. Don't turn the power on or off. Uh, you see down here my oven uh, is uh, fairly new so it's taking the USB fairly quickly because there's not a lot of files it needs to update if your oven hasn't been updated in a long time as in a couple of years this process may take longer as the oven has to take more files off the USB and upload it to the uh, particular uh, boards and also software systems so now here we're updating our options board uh, here we're updating our control board so here you see the progress bar, it's not doing the same thing. Each step it's doing something different as it takes uh, the data off the USB. So again, we don't turn off the oven. I do not take the USB out of the drive. Uh, we let the unit go through this process all on its own. And then once it's done, the unit will restart itself and go through the startup process. The first time it went through that process, the unit turned itself off again and then restarted itself as it wrote the software to the communications system and now it's started back up in its normal position. When you're at this step, remove the USB and push the cover so that it clicks closed. Now that the unit has restarted and come back to the home screen, I can do two different choices to confirm that the uh, software update was taken. Uh, number one, I can check the software version by pressing the toolbox and up here in the top left corner it's going to tell me exactly what software versions I'm running. Uh, on my screen here I've got OB2.21.2, CB. 1.18 and OB 0.17. Those are all the current versions that are included in this software update. So I can tell that it's been uploaded and it's correct in the system. Second method I can do, I can also just go into the cleaning system. So press the final button 
which would be the longest rinse and wash cycle at three hours and 30 minutes. And just have a look here. It's asking for two tablets, which we know are uh, the new amount for these new tablets. Previously, that would have a six there if you were on the previous software versions for the other sized tablets. The new tablet bucket features a locking safety lid. To open the lid, locate and press this button. On each four corners of the bucket, you'll find these small triangles and the press button will be located at one of these four triangles. Once you've got the button, press it. It says right here, press here and turn the lid to unscrew it. Take your amount of product out Put the lid back on and screw it tight until you feel the lock engage. Placing the tablets in the oven is the same as with the previous version of tablets from AltoSham. Wearing gloves as my PPE, I'll rip open the bag along this terrible seal and lift out the tablet. Lifting the drain catch up and out of the oven, I can now drop the tablet down into the drain. After putting the prescribed amount of tablets down into the drain, I can put the drain cover back on top of the drain catch, push down and it will clip in place. Close the oven door and start the cleaning process after that. If I only put the tablets on the bottom of the oven and not down the drain, there's not enough water to properly dissolve the tablets and you won't get the best cleaning result at the end of your cleaning cycle.